India UK Together Season of Culture marks India's 75th anniversary and celebrates the deep connections shared between both countries. India and UK both have an intertwined, rich and complex history in the field of literature. And there have been several authors, both in India and the UK, who have published novels which depict the shared history in both the countries. We really wanted to take this opportunity through the season of culture to celebrate the shared heritage in literature which is shared in both the countries. We also want to upskill teachers in using English literature in teaching English in the classrooms and also connect learners in both countries. We are incredibly fortunate to kick off the literature leg of our India-UK Together season here in Kolkata which I think is one of the major nerve centres of culture, creativity, literature and all things creative. This evening here in Kolkata, we are celebrating India's literary connections with the UK. So India on the world stage is what we are talking about with three absolutely brilliant women authors, Gitanjali Shri, winner of Booker International Prize this year. We have uh, Kishwar Desai, another prize-winning novelist and non-fiction author. And we have Anupama Raju, a brilliant translator and an author herself. Through these conversations, we hope to build the bridges that exist uh, between India and the UK and strengthen those bonds for days to come. I happen to be a writer who's writing in Hindi. And for me, what is all important is to bring um, these other Indian languages in translation also into the curriculum. I think it's important to realize that translation is very much about uh, pluralism and diversity. And if you're going to just have works from English in the curriculum, then we're losing out a very, very rich world that we could have access to. So for me, it seems it's all important to bring so many different languages and those works into the curriculum, bring the um, cultural contexts, the linguistic cadences of different languages and just put pluralism on the table and celebrate diversity. When you uh, learn a poem or when you um, read a short story in translation, uh, either from Bengali or from Oriya or from Telugu or Tamil for that matter, you are understanding what is happening when two cultures come together and there's a lot that's enriched in that child or in that student's mind. And the best way to have an exchange of literature between the two countries would to have a festival of translated literature because that would really help the authors to meet their counterparts and to exchange ideas on how more literature which is translated either in the Indian languages or into English could be then better discussed, better brought out, better marketed. Having EDI or an accessibility based approach while conceiving a project is equally important because it finds and allows us to fill the voids and make sure that we bridge the gap between arts, culture and heritage along with the disabilities and various other groups and their accommodation. With over 19,500 mother tongues that exist in India and with 22 official languages including English, India is linguistically very diverse. Through our panel discussions on multilingualism and empowerment, we chose to explore very important themes that are relevant for the 21st century. For instance, how do you make writing more inclusive for a multilingual audience that exists in India? We believe that by having these important discussions with young audiences in India, we will be able to develop further and deeper understanding and appreciation for inclusive writing and thereby further empower Indian literature to have a seat on the world stage. Literature in translation is included in schools, colleges and university curriculums that will work as a big powerful tool in bridging the gap between languages and cultures. I often think of translation as very essential component to 
put our cultures in the world map but also put our languages in the world map translation is now emerging as this you know as a decolonial practice as a practice that challenges you know established hegemony established dominance and also tries to make all of us feel that you know at a civilizational level at a cultural level we are not less than anybody that you know we have a rich history we have a varied uh, and diverse literature the season will also create incredible opportunities for young generations in both countries to have equitable access to the arts and culture to english and to education